on FAT colleges. So basically, FAT colleges for me are usually what I call, you know, like passion schools, um, like passion institutions, because these ones, they, offer, they afford you the opportunity basically to do whatever you want. So like, as I said before, you might be like, you know, this, an electrician, like you're so good with electricity or you're interested um, in all electronic, how electronics work, or you're interested, for example, um, in plumbing or how plumbing works. Um, so basically, this is a group that you can call them artisans. Um, so this is where FAT colleges actually come in to make sure, because some people, you might not be good uh, you know, with books, um, but you're good at explaining things, but you're not good with you know, sitting at an exam or trying to when recall information at that stressful level. But if you can sit down, like someone, like you'd meet someone who you can ask them basically, you know, what's a resistor in, in for example, in an electric circuit. They cannot tell you while they're stressed, but this person can tell you, if you show them a resistor, how it works and you know what it does. That's basically all they need to know. So basically then that's where you can get someone to train, to train you to hone in those, to hone those skills that's where basically, you know, I believe uh, FAT colleges are at an advantage because, you know, they get to help, help you, first of all, obviously get the recognition that you want, you know, that certificate that, okay, you're a qualified person in this regard. And especially if you want to become an entrepreneur, this becomes very more, very important. And also not only um, when you leave, you leave with the certificate, but you also become an expert of some sort in your own field. And also with FAT colleges, you can get literally a diploma of almost like literally of almost any field that you, you know, you want to study in. So be it, for example, you want to be an engineer, you want to be an accountant or mathematician, or you want to be, you know, an, an economist, or you want to do consumer economics. Um, literally almost any discipline that you want, you can find it um, at, any, at almost any FAT colleges um, around the country. That's another um, advantage is that there's so many FAT colleges around the country. But please, 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 before you apply or anything, make sure that the college that you're applying or the university that you're applying at is a registered institution, um, you know, with the, with the South African Education I'm um, sorry, higher education department, basically. As I said, and also as I said before, um, that colleges are actually quite more affordable than usually, or more usually more affordable than universities. And also contrary to popular belief, there are actually bursaries out there, even the MSFAS, which is available for students who actually want to study at FET colleges. So please do not let um, your financial situation hinder your dreams because your dreams are much, much more important and in the world, like in this world that we live, uh, we live, you know, we need people, we need dreamers, we need people who are going to make, you know, things, make things work, make this world a much better, better place. And then also lastly with FAT colleges, if you, um, for example, if you did not make it currently now in like, for example, in the last metric or you think your marks were not as up to the standard that you wanted, FAT colleges also provide that kind of like, you know, um, bridging courses basically, you know, to, to better your marks, to make sure that then you can get the marks that you need, especially if you are adamant that you want to go to university. You can then go to an FAT colleges and then you, you acquire all the experience and also the marks that you need, so then you can be able to make it to the university.